How to create a more chilled out lifestyle. In this video, I'll reveal practical, realistic ways to design a more relaxed way for you to live your life. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. In the past few years especially, it's very easy to get overwhelmed, stressed and anxious especially in the Western world. I mean, look, in the past few years in my personal life, I've had two breakups. I isolated for a long time alone during the lockdowns. At the same time, my dad tragically died and I had major business struggles. It's been stressful, frustrating, but I also just came back from a beautiful vacation with my partner who I love and I've never felt more refreshed. It hit me. I've created a more chilled out lifestyle and I plan on keeping it that way. I have been the architect and the designer of this life, and the more I design and succeed in doing so, the more confidence I obtain to do more and achieve more as well. Because what's the alternative? I have known and still known people personally who are always overwhelmed, way too stressed, anxious, and are consistent warriors. And then I look at their lives, how they live, how they approach things, how they procrastinate with things, never deal with their problems and issues, how they put their heads in the sand, hoping for everything to disappear and be okay. My philosophy is if you do what is easy, the bare minimum, make excuses, procrastinate, forget about it, your life will become hard overall and more stressful. But instead, if you do what is hard, tackle your problems and issues, do the work, make the sacrifices, eventually your life will become easier and far less stressful and potentially more relaxed and chilled out. Make it your mission to have some much needed change to your stressful overall life. Here are some excellent ways for you to do so. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comment section below. Try to prioritize your self-care. My partner's had a stressful time in her work for the last few months, and it doesn't look like slowing down. We were desperate for a vacation, so we booked a trip and had one of the best times. As she sat opposite me in the sunshine, looking out across the landscape, she said, this really makes me think there's more to life than working a nine to five. I'm lucky to be here. She's very hard working and determined. She goes above and beyond in her work. But by putting herself first, booking the trip and switching off from work, she was able to prioritize self care, which did wonders for her mood and well being. So put your self care first, because the more you do so, the more life becomes enjoyable and relaxing. For me, just making time to play a video game or have a massage every now and again gives me such joy and satisfaction to cope with the overall stresses of life. Your job and career can be contributing to your stress levels to a dangerous degree. Healthcare workers statistically have some of the most stressful and intense jobs and apparently those in administration and who work remotely have the least stressful jobs. And I'll be honest, whatever work you do or business you run, it's always going to have challenges, stresses and problems. But perhaps if you want to work in a way that minimizes that stress and has some meaning behind it, then you're going to have a far more chilled out life as a result. I've worked for myself for 14 years. In 2020, I started this channel, The SCG Show. It certainly has its stresses, many frustrations, and I'm tired as a result at the end of the day and sometimes really stressed out. However, honestly, I'm working a job and a business I love. And I've not got bored, tired of it, nor do I come home drained, regretting it either. Be mindful of where and what you do for work. It's your life and health at the end of the day. And you only have one life. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. 
I advise the older you become to have a healthy social life, especially if your job and work is intense and you can't do anything about it. You don't need to be out all the time hosting parties, eating at restaurants or always at events. All you need is a handful of friends or even just one friend, some family to do things that you enjoy with. We came back from our holiday recently, me and my partner, and we were tired after a night of travel. We went to a local cafe, had a nice breakfast and then visited family and that was enough socialising for us. That may sound boring or dull to most, but to us it was relaxing and very chilled out. Isolating too much on your own and not going out and seeing people or doing things can be detrimental to your mood, which will affect your stress levels. So try and incorporate a healthier, much more sustained social life. So many people try to take on more than they can chew at once and they go and live chaotic, stressful lives. One guy in particular lives like this and his life's a mess. He works a full-time job, plays soccer twice a week, goes rock climbing, then he's trying to write his novel, then he's painting, then he's doing his martial arts, then he's seeing friends, hosting house parties, dinner parties, then he's dating and trying to get a girlfriend on top. It's too much, too intense. He's physically exhausting himself as he takes on more and more things at once. Time for everything means time for nothing. Whatever tasks you have, whether it's your personal or professional life, try to do one thing at a time. And say no if you cannot take on more than you can chew. This will make your life incredibly easier and less stressful. You might feel like you've got more time, but that means you've got more quality time to invest in the right things and people. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. Try cultivating a loving relationship because studies show that men and women who do this tend to live happier, longer, less stressful lives. In contrast, a few years ago, I was in a toxic relationship which was stressful. In the process after I walked away, I did a lot of work on myself, a lot of healing, and I became more self-aware. As a mid-30s man who was single, truthfully, it was quite stressful as I had to make an effort to date with the goal of having a relationship. I didn't want to fool around. I wasn't partying a lot and I didn't want to settle for anything either. Then once I had other areas of my life sorted, I attracted a beautiful woman who I've dated seriously since. The impact she's had on my life has been incredible. She's made me a healthier man physically, inspiring me to train in the gym again and eat better. She's made me more mature questioning my views on love, the world, people and myself. We have created and shared so many memories together. We've travelled, we've opened up emotionally together, we've grown together and connected more. And truthfully, whilst there have of course been ups and downs and circumstances that have been challenging along the way, they have been growing pains as we have healed together in this relationship and like I said, grown and become better. My relationship has contributed to more happiness and healing than anything else in my life. And as a result, we love mutually the life we've created together and living together, which is very chilled out, very easygoing and actually much more mature than we would have thought. Cultivate a happy, 
healthy relationship with someone. It's so worth it and you'll go on to live a more chilled out life. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. I cannot begin to tell you how much I love where I live right now. I moved just over a year ago. It's been one of the best decisions of my life. It's a beautiful area. The home's well decorated. The vibe of my house is chilled and relaxed. I'm walking distance to so many places. I have so much on my doorstep and when my partner visits we love the area the house and more in stark contrast to the place i was in before i hated it so much i hated the area i used to dread coming home in the lockdowns i hated being isolated for so long and i couldn't wait for a change of scenery and to get out i truthfully could never relax the way i do now in my new home nor would I be able to live the life I do either. I have friends moving to areas to live a better life, others moving to be out in the countryside, and I know some who are moving abroad for a brand new challenge altogether. I believe your home, wherever you are, should be your haven. It should be your safe place, your peaceful place. Embrace and enjoy it, because by doing so, you can and will create a more chilled out lifestyle as a result.